Clay Patton back on the Rural Radio Network. Let's take a rundown of what's happening in your closing livestock trade now with David Erickson of of, of Ag Optimist in Akron, Iowa. David, another negative close for much of the cattle complex. Are we near a low? Well, Clay, we're closer than we were yesterday, um, and that is scientifically true with the way that we closed up today. Um, what I will say is, you know, since it's nearly Christmas time, I thought we'd talk about the kind of naughty and nice list um, in in terms of the livestock reports that we got today. Um, you know, to start the day, we had pro- positive export news in both the pork and the and the and in the beef. Um, you know, both higher than they were a lot or a week ago, and that's just about the end of the of the good news that we're going to get on the on the negative or what I would like to call the naughty list given the time of year we had a lot lower cash trade which developed into last night so most of that should be reported today um, but I've been told that there was cash as low as 266 um, which would be about a net equivalent of 170 on the live so quite a bit lower than what we were looking at last week um, you know we also had cattle weights today eight pounds above a year ago with steers up four and heifers unchanged. Um, you know, as negative as all this sounds, I, I want to kind of leave the listeners with a couple things to think about. One, the market always bottoms when the news is the worst. And, you know, we've had a lot of bad news that's been thrown at this, and no one rings a bell at the bottom just like they don't at the top. Second of all, you know, if the amount of cattle that were traded for lower money yesterday um, with the higher weights, that could be a positive. Get the big boys and girls out of the way and uh, look off to a great 2024. That's David Erickson, Ag Optimist. Do you remember trading future jobs? Devolve risk of loss.